For the last week, Iowa has been home to a distinguished visitor, the Chinese ambassador to the U.S. making stops throughout the state today. Local Fi's Mary Sugden got an inside look at one of these visits and joins us in studio now with a story. Mary. Yeah, John Ambassador Chin Gong was in Maxwell, Iowa this morning visiting the Kimberly family. Now, the visit showcased not only the operations of the Kimberly's diversified row crop farm, but also the Iowa nice hospitality that this state is so well known for. The Kimberly family hoped to barbecue outside. A farming family well versed in the moods of Mother Nature pivots indoors. We're sorry about the rain, but the rain is good for agriculture. Yes. As you can see, today is no simple get together. The family has a special guest in their home, Chinese ambassador to the U.S., Chin Gong. American farmers are all warm, sincere, and hardworking, like uh, uh, Chinese farmers. The family living room is a bit more crowded than usual, becoming center stage for deep agricultural conversations. We are brothers in agriculture. Yeah. The Chinese farmers are. The Ukraine farmers are. Yes. Yeah. I feel for those people. Yeah. While the war in Ukraine may be a divisive topic for two countries so different, host and guest believe there's a common ground between the two nations. Yeah, it's a bridge and uh, it's a bondage. Yes. Right? And the chain of agriculture so long. Ambassador Gong says his homeland imported roughly $40 billion of U.S. agriculture last year, with Iowa producing a major share. The trade uh, between us you know, helped increase uh, the incomes of American farmers and also it you know, diversified the foods in the, the plates of Chinese people, you know, our kitchen tables. So. We like to buy more. With formalities over, it's time to eat. We hope you enjoy it. Yes. Time for gifts. This is a collectible John Deere tractor. And time to try out the real thing. Don't report to the police. <laughs> And this isn't the Kimberly's first time hosting a distinguished Chinese guest before. It was actually 10 years ago that they last opened their doors to a very important person. Live in studio, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Mary, thank you. And you're right. In February of 2012, the Kimberly's hosted then Chinese Vice President Xi Jinping. Today, she is president of China. Back then, Governor Terry Branstan, Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds, and Secretary of Agriculture Bill Northey we're all in attendance at the Kimberly's farm, and just as today, she hopped aboard a John Deere tractor, learning more about agriculture in Iowa. The Kimberly's share what these relationships mean to them. Building relationships is really important in the world today, and agriculture is one way we can build those relationships. We need China. Uh, China needs us, and so we have to work at it. When you, when you have anything important, it's never easy. And so you have to work at it. Kimberly says they've been to China over 20 times. He stresses agriculture is a bridge that can connect countries, especially at such a crucial time in the world. And we spoke to Senator Joni Ernst about the Chinese ambassador's visit to Iowa. She was in Urbandale earlier this week at a stop on her 99 county tour. She says she's glad the ambassador is in Iowa because she has some questions for him. One of those questions is why is China supplying weapons to Serbia, knowing that the Serbs work so closely with the Russian army? So I'm actually glad he's here because then we can have these very hard face-to-face -face discussions about China, their influence with Russia and the war in Ukraine. Ernst says the U.S. also needs to make sure it's pushing back on any sort of Chinese influence when it comes to intellectual property and on any trade issues.